Welcome! In this video, we're going to introduce you to Microsoft Teams. Teams is a collaboration tool that allows members of our NCC community, faculty, staff, and students to connect with each other via chat, audio call, or video conference call. Teams is part of Office 365. You're already familiar with all the components like Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Teams is simply another member of this big family. Please remember that in order to use Teams, you need to log in with your NetID and password. In this video, we're going to learn how to access Teams, how to connect with students using Teams, and how to schedule a meeting in Teams. Let's focus on how you can access Teams. There are several ways you can access Teams, but one of them is via your NCC email. So log in to your NCC email and on the upper left you will see this group of dots this is called the app launcher click on that and then click on office 365 and sure enough here is teams and the second way i want to show you how you can access teams and probably the best one is by using the app to download the app go to microsoft.com or your laptop or your desktop computer and to the App Store or Google Play for your mobile device. Once you install Teams on your computer, you get an icon like this. Double click on it to start Teams. On the left hand side, you have all the teams you are a member of. And here in the middle is where the collaboration takes place. Here team members can share files, chat and communicate with each other. Now let's focus on how you can connect with students, faculty, or other staff members via Teams. You can do that by chat, audio call, or video call. Now let's click on chat, and here you see a list of all the previous chats you have maintained with individuals or groups. Now let's start a new chat. To do that, click on this little box with the pencil on the top of the screen, and let's find the person you need to speak with. I'm going to speak with my co-worker, Casey Hall. And there she is. I'm going to start typing right here at the bottom. And let's wait for her response. And there she is. Now let's say you want to add another person to this conversation. Click on this icon on the upper right hand side. Find the person you need to add and add the person. Now notice on the left hand side that we have created a new chat. This time with two people, Casey and my friend Jason. Now here is where we continue our discussion. But sometimes text is not enough for good productive communication. For that, Teams offers you audio call, video call, both available on the upper right hand corner of your screen, Let's try video call with these two people, Casey and Jason. Here is Jason. My video is on the lower right hand corner. And here is Casey. Now in the middle of the screen you have this toolbar with the option to turn on and off your camera, your microphone, um, start a chat conversation with the participants to see the participants and more options. And finally, this last button to end the video call. Now let's pay special attention to this button, which is the share button. Now anyone participating in the video call in Teams can share their screen. Like for instance, you the advisor can share your screen to show students how they can go to uh, the course search and find the courses they need for next semester. Or you can ask the student to share their screen so you can tell them step by step how to go to MyComNet, log into Banner Self Service, and actually register for the classes or check financial aid or anything they need to do. So share button is a powerful tool. Now let's talk about how you can schedule a future meeting in Teams. You'll go to the calendar in Teams, click here to look for the date. I'm going to set the meeting for Tuesday, July 14th at 10 a.m. Select the right time and I give it a title. This is going to be a department meeting. And then now I have to add the attendees, Casey and Jason. 
set the right time and this is going to be a one hour meeting so like 11 o'clock as the ending and that's it hit send now this has created the event in my team's calendar here is the department meeting event on my team's calendar and but if i go to outlook calendar here is my outlook calendar look for that day tuesday july 14th here is the event also synchronized with teams i click on the event on that day and here's the link to join the teams meeting directly from my calendar another way you can schedule a meeting in teams is by going to this upper right hand corner the new meeting button the procedure is exactly the same add the title for your meeting add the required attendees but also in this case you need to set up the, the date for the appointment so open the calendar and select the date make sure time is correct and that's it by hitting save you create the event both in your teams and your outlook calendars for more information go to microsoft.com click on support scroll down and click on microsoft teams you will find a wealth of information video tutorials and other trips on how to use microsoft Teams. you may also contact the it help desk at helpdesk at ncc.comnet.edu. Thank you.